All right, good morning guys, it's Saturday morning. It's been a pretty full on week of training. Hit maybe just under 100K, but over 5,000 meters of climbing. Had a good, really fun run last night. Ended up with some fun scrambling across the ridge line, so that's pretty awesome. So I'm heading on, going up the mountain up towards the peak of Valletta, and then dropping down beneath, and then we can scramble up some scree slopes there. Head over then towards Mohassin and then um, yeah, see how it goes from there. So hopefully it'll be a decent day as well, maybe 35, 40K and about 2,000 meters of climbing. So that's the goal always, get a good reasonable amount in and uh, yeah, feeling good. I know that legs will wake up pretty nicely once they get going. The hardest part is always just taking that first step. So let's get, take that first step and get going. Okay guys, here we are just below the peak of Valletta. This is beautiful view now. I'm gonna head down here now, along these kind of scree slopes here, and up to this peak, drop down over towards Mullison. Starting to acclimatize a bit to the altitude now. Um, didn't feel like last week was too challenging regarding it, but I think now with hindsight, with how I feel, how strong I'm feeling on the hills, definitely can, can sense a lot more that I was struggling a lot a lot more than I realized last week with the altitude. So for me now with my lead up for CCC, I've been trying to keep the training really specific to what the demands of the race are. I feel like I've had some fun and some challenging training leading up to, which is part of the process, which I really enjoy. Training is for me, I don't know, I love racing, but training is what I just love more than anything. Just getting stuck into that routine, working hard. And when you're in beautiful mountain ranges like I am right now, it's a real blessing because it, it's where everything really comes together and you realize why it is that you do this sport and why you push yourself and challenge yourself each and every day. And for me, it's just the adventure, getting outside, being able to explore this beautiful parts of the world. Just working way down the summit, scrambling down this nice little easy kind of steps here. Heading towards the mountain. So made it to the summit. 1800 meters of climbing to get to this point, about 12 and a half kilometers, feeling good. My favorite bit of trail now. I love this bit. Quite rocky and technical, but hiking my way out of this bowl. I've run out of water and tailwind, so I'm going dry. And it's not a lot of running streams at this section, so I don't know when I'm gonna get more water next. <laughs> but feeling good, I'll survive. Hola. Hola. Okay guys, we're all finished up there. I've got myself to town. I had some fresh oranges and some soy milk. So I'm gonna go have these oranges now. Drink like two liters of water, I'm so thirsty. And then uh, have a massive bowl of porridge. And uh, yeah, wiped out guys. That was really tough out there today. Good week so far. Today is Saturday, so I've got Sunday tomorrow as well. So I'm gonna try and Keep the ball rolling, try and get some good miles tomorrow. Probably something a bit more flatter and a lot more runnable over here. Maybe I'll take you guys along and show you as well some really cool mountain bike running trails. So yeah, guys, stay tuned. We'll see how that goes tomorrow. Keep the ball rolling, as I said, and uh, maybe try and put some fast surges in there as well, just to really test the legs. We like a mini fat leg as well, so let's get some water. Okay, guys, so it's Sunday. Behind me, the, the peaks that were up yesterday, Valletta, Mulhassen, and we're down here now, just below the town. So these trails are really good to get some more runnable runs in. Uh, obviously not less hiking, just more about that consistent running, which is really important. Uh, I find for myself, at least leading into the ultras, even if it's a big mountainous one uh, that com got coming up like CCC, <clears throat> to make sure you maintain some good running form, some good running economy, and just get plenty of miles in running. So that's what I'm going for today. So I'm going to be on here for three hours. I've been going for about 35 minutes now, about 7k. And I'm going to add in a bit of a fart like now until I run. So I'm going to do some two minute efforts. It'd be good just to get some good workout and get the heart rate spiking up a bit. So two minutes on, one minute off. So let's do it. Just finished up with the fart leg. 12 by two minutes on, one minute off. So pace I was aiming for kind of went out the window because it's very rolling course. Uh, but the effort and the intensity was definitely there. It was good fun as well having some of the splits on like 
the downhills really got me running fast on the technical bits as well down the hills but as I said it's a lot more runnable here than on the mountain so it's a really good effective session get the leg speed up get the body ready for those higher efforts obviously there was a few hills within that as well so really really happy with that session uh, just getting the miles up now and feeling good and feeling fresh and uh, absorbing the training well so looking forward to talking about it with you guys on Strava I'm just gonna run these miles now get them finished and uh, get back home okay guys so here we are here's the Strava for this week uh, 19 hours 19 minutes of activity in total so pretty uh, pretty bizarre ended up being exactly the same down to the minute as uh, the week before completely random there but pretty cool so yeah nearly 20 hours of activity again this week really cool to be hitting such figures uh, consistently as you can see pretty similar stats as well a little bit further this week so a little bit more distance covered uh, similar kind of pattern to the week before uh, so let's have a look and see how it broke down so on the Monday obviously it was following on straight from last week haven't had a strict kind of rest day as such been, ha been having a few days where I just kind of take it easy so again this is just a nice and relaxing 12 and a half kilometer run here hour and 15 minutes pretty easy pace nothing too steep a lot more kind of gradual than what I've been doing recently has been nice just to get some good consistent running in on these easier runs I'm feeling fresh legs feeling good you can see the heart rate really low 125 beats per minute so really relaxing recovery run on the Monday to start the week I do usually try and plan a longer run on the Tuesday so I like to try and get a bit more distance in a bit of climbing um, so you can see I was out for two hours there 19 kilometers and about 883 meters of climbing now this was a bit of a disappointing run for me I was really hoping that I had a, a course kind of figured out but I did kind of lose the trail a few times so you can see here kind of found myself off trail found the trail again got back but there was a lot of kind of back and forth trying to figure out what I was doing here and it can be a bit frustrating in training especially when you're trying to aim for these kind of figures but it's a good kind of lesson really to you know take the focus off sometime appreciate the moment which is what I really did on this run so again on the way back managed to switch the pace on quite nicely down the hills again into town making sure that leg turnover is feeling really good as well as the climbing which is something I'm really working on right now so just doing the same thing guys progressing towards the end of your run building the pace up can be a really good way just to get that little bit more out of your runs without it being too damaging uh, or too stressful as opposed to doing a tempo session or an interval session progressing the pace throughout the run increases demands of the training session and uh, just keeps that leg speed nice and high and obviously using the downhills for this when they're training for a race like I'm with CCC where you've got a lot of descents a lot of climbing working hard on the downhills is some it's definitely a, a surefire way to really get your legs prepared for the pounding they're going to take in an ultra race okay so leaving into Wednesday this really was a workout for the week I didn't put it as a workout but it totally was um, so out here where I am now I've got a kilometer vertical so a vertical K straight out of the uh, the kind of ski resort that I'm staying at the moment um, so you can see it's five kilometers 941 meters so just under that kilometer uh, distance I did carry on up to the peak of Valletta but really impressive to see this guy's course record 47 minutes on this vertical K is really impressive so for me this was a good kind of long steady effort to implement into training obviously get myself prepared for some high intensity climbing obviously when it comes to race day I'm not going to be climbing as hard as this I really hope anyway unless I've got too carried away so doing this kind of above effort race pace intensity the steady consistent you know nearly an hour of steady state effort here is a really great way to build up the strength on the climbs certainly a goal of mine again that 51 minutes in the next few weeks so it'd be interesting to see if my body still has some acclimatization to come or obviously my fitness building to see if I can get into that 50 minutes uh, I've got some poles coming as well which might be a helpful aspect in that climb so yeah really looking forward to to keep cracking on with this climb I really like going after kind of Strava segments like this when they're obviously relevant to your training it can be detrimental to your training if you're just chasing Strava segments here there and everywhere which aren't necessarily in line with what your training goals are but obviously a vertical kilometer effort like this is really something that I'm really kind of tackling in trying to improve my climbing speed improve my steady state work getting the body into a position of pure strength and great fitness for CCC 
So this is definitely a segment that I'll probably be trying again next week. So you can see on Thursday it was a good double day. Um, so getting up along a nice ridge line here up to kind of thousand meters of climbing. And again, in the eve well, in the morning and the evening, I've got for, for some good runs both times. So really great way to just boost that fitness again. Get out on the double runs if you haven't got the time for one long run in the middle of the day. You can see an evening hike there. So I have been hiking pretty much daily with Louise, which, which has been a great benefit for recovery. Just getting out there and appreciating the surroundings as well, getting a little few extra meters and kilometers in with the training. So Friday, really good fun. Explored some new routes, which I'm going to link up probably next week into some longer runs, uh, but ended up with a bit of kind of scrambling, called a scramble fun, uh, so running and scrambling, but it got a bit gnarly, so I didn't go too far, but I managed to get along most of this ridge line. Really beautiful views, as you can see, really awesome. So uh, yeah, really fun run there on the Friday leading into the weekend when, that's it guys, you know that I like to try and get the longer runs and the longer efforts in. So on the Saturday, similar run again, out towards Mulhassen Summit, but this time it dropped underneath the peak of Valletta, which ended up being some good fun scrambly views uh, and some good kind of effort there. You guys just saw it in the video. Um, but you can see again some good timing above that 3000 meter mark so some good altitude in definitely feel like I'm strengthening up each day and on these longer runs feeling that for sure so it was a tough run I did run out of water with a good hour and a half to go so when I got to the top of Mullison I still had a fair bit of time to go with my run and I ran out of water so that was quite a challenging part it was really hot up there but really good fun day feeling strong as you can see for the week itself it's been pretty awesome but I was really happy today to finish up the week with this good, strong, far leg effort. This is definitely one of my kind of favorite sessions. Two minutes on, one minute off. Two minutes is a great time period to focus on building up some good speed, pushing on for long enough. But that one minute rest doesn't allow you to fully recover. So you're keeping the intensity on there. Very similar to a lot of the workouts that the Kenyans do. So feels good to have got some good pace, some good speed in with this run amongst some more relaxing miles to the back end of the run. Uh, but obviously keeping those hills in there as well to chop and change the stride almost like a natural kind of fart like so Overall guys been a really strong week really happy to have finished up another consistent week of training here at altitude now Next week definitely going to be keeping that pressure on keeping that distance up that time up on legs Which is a really important aspect for me leading into an ultra so I hope you've been enjoying these videos guys definitely trying to show you as much of the mountains as, as I can here It's a really awesome place to train really enjoying it it's quite brutal quite rocky as uh, some of you mentioned in comments and uh, a few of my clients have said to me you know it's it's not quite the alps or anything like that it's really beautiful in its own way and it's more challenging i would say than running somewhere like the alps and just managing to enjoy my training in a way that is very different to what i've been doing for the rest of the year but obviously lots of time on the trails which is obviously a dream come true so Next week, I'll be heading down to Granada, probably. Going to do a resupply with some good, uh, some more fresh food, some oats, um, and some of the other things that I eat day in, day out. So perhaps I'll do a what I, eat, what I eat in a day video to show you guys a little bit more behind the scenes of what I eat, preparing for training sessions like this, and obviously with these big, heavy, intense weeks that I'm doing at the moment. So hope you guys have been enjoying these videos. Really appreciate all the great feedback you've been giving. Um, any of other ideas or aspects that you want to see from my training please drop them in the comments below I try and get around to making these videos for you and uh, I'm getting really excited for the race now guys really hope you're all training really hard and enjoying yourself with your running and working towards your challenges and goals and training smart at the same time not overdoing things thanks for watching guys and happy running <laughs>